Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, all are new to my channel, so please subscribe my channel. Here is a channel link. And uh, today let's talk about one of the service. Before that, uh, let's have a the playlist. So there is a AWS Zero to Zero course playlist. Okay, you can just go through the video. So that I have covered all the AWS uh, services. Okay, and uh, now today let's talk about the service called amazon guard duty so what is this amazon guard duty okay so let's talk about uh, theory first then we go for the answer so what is guard duty or amazon guard duty okay so guard duty is a threat detection service offered by the aws okay and it continuously monitor for malicious activity and unauthorized behavior with your aws environment so whatever you have a resource in the aws environment or aws cloud so it is going to be monitored and guard duty analyzes the various data sources such as aws flow driving event logs and vpc flow logs and dns logs and the next point is it will identify security threats including anomalies compromised instance and unauthorized access okay so these are all it is going to be detected okay and what are the key features of guard duty so one is for threat detection and intelligent threat analysis centralized management and integration with the aws services and customizable alerting and cost effective okay so these are all the features in the amazon guard duty so let's jump into the official documentation for Amazon Guard Duty. So this is for also, it is 30 days for free trial. Okay, you can use it. So if you are not required, you can just disable it. But again, it is going to be chargeable later. Okay, so 30 days, it is going to be free. Okay, and so Amazon Guard Duty, protect your AWS accounts with the intelligent threat detection and benefits of the Guard Duty, you can able to continuous monitoring machine level uh, power threat detection respond posture to threats scalable threat detection protect a broad range of aws computer threats and earlier i told you what is uh, guard duty also and how it is going to work so if you are able to see it this is your entire aws region so it is going to be monitor entire resource cs yes. okay and you will get a notification take action means you'll get a notification if something goes wrong someone is accessing your instance or someone iam okay it is opened anywhere okay and if you come to the guard duty for aws workload productions so where all you can able to use it one is for guard duty s3 production eks cluster eks runtime monitoring and ecs runtime monitoring and your ec2 runtime monitoring and guard duty malware production guard duty rds and lambda and use cases so improve your security option operation visibility assist analysis and investigation or automatic remediation protect against ransomware and other types of malware centralized threat detection of aws container workloads and more easily meet compliance requirement like pc does pcc and customers you can able to see it all yes so well are using all the customers let me go to the top okay so we don't have any okay there is a faqs okay so if you have a before uh, enabling your amazon guard duty so just go to the your faq so it is going to be shows all details whatever you have a doubt what is amazon guard duty what are the key benefits how much does uh, guard duty it will be cost okay and if you enable it how do we enable it okay and how to activate it so everything it is going to be shows here next let me go to the official documentation yes if you are able to see it so so amazon guard duty pricing for guard duty if you are able to see it here okay and uh, where all you can able to access it one is for uh, aws console command line and SCDF, SAP and sdk so these four types you can able to access it and if you come to the finding by resource type so what are the findings are there one is for ec2 finding types 
runtime monitoring and IAM finding types, Kubernetes audit logs, Lambda, malware, RDS, S3. So these are all the findings by default uh, it is available. And finding tables or finding type. So there is a lot of uh, finding types are there. Okay, I'm going to show it to you in the answer. And next documentation is remediating security issues discovered by the guard duty. So whenever there is a detect from the guard duty, so we can able to remediate it. For example, remediate protectional compromised any EC2 machine. Or if you have a uh, ECS, S3 bucket, okay, any, any remediation, you can able to see it. You can just go to come to here, you can just verify it. Remediating potential compromised Amazon EC2 instance. Okay, if, for example, if you are created a EC2 machine, so this is allowed for anywhere. Okay, so this is going to be untracked connection. Okay, so it will detect and it will shows to you saying that this is not the best practice to open 00. zero. Okay, so best practice for Amazon EC2, you can just go through here and you can able to see everything. Okay, so this is a process you need to follow up with. Okay. So here also they have mentioned example. So how should be there your source? Okay. And best practice for Amazon EC2. You can follow the guidance here. Okay. So let me close all those things. Let me come back to our AWS console. Okay. Now what I'm going to do right now. What I've done it, I've given the only one example I'm going to give it. So right now I'm having you only one user. Okay. And if you're able to see it, I have created a security credentials here. If you're able to close if you're monitored. It. So this is not the right way to do it. Okay. And you should not use your access key, secret key nowadays, because this is also one of the alerts or it is a security issues. Okay. Now let me come to here. So let's go to the guard duty. If you go to the guard duty, so there is an option called 30 days. It is going to be evolution is free. Okay. So here also it will show us what is the benefit to use cases related services available. Okay. Now let's getting started. So here there is a view service role permission. So what are the permission it is available? It is available. You can able to see it. And malware protection also it is available. Okay. So just close it out this one. Okay, now you need to enable it. Okay, enable the guard duty. Okay, just enable it. So once you enabled it, okay, left side if you are able to see summary. Okay, it will show summary, findings, usage, and malware scans. So malware scan, it is going to be enable your EC2 machines. Okay, for example, if you wanted to scan your EC2 machines, okay, there is a third party, a lot of tools are there. Uh, to use it, but if you wanted to use it, you need to copy and paste your instance ID as per example here they have given. Okay, this is going to be run every time. Okay, that is the one thing you need, you can do. And you say it will shows. So these are all the cloud trial is paid usage, DNS logs, UPC, S3. Okay, these are all the paid logs. If you want that free, you can able to use all those things so these are all the usage and if you come to the findings okay so findings it will show us lot of details current archived or all findings you can able to see as of now there is nothing okay so it is going to be take some time because we have already enabled the access key right so let's wait for some time to detect here okay and what else protections fall plans you can able to see it if you wanted to enable S3, enable it. It is already enabled. Okay, EKS enabled. Runtime monitoring. Okay, you can just enable it. Okay, this is for 30 days. Malware detect. Also, it is already enabled. Okay. And you can just start the scanning here. So, once it is, we can able to see it. So, what are the services? It is already enabled. Okay. Now, if you come to the accounts. So accounts also you can able to see it if you have multiple accounts you can add it or if you wanted to support your organization also it is going to be support 
so settings okay settings here you can able to see all the details now what i'm going to do i'm going to generate some sample findings okay what all the types of findings are there let's see it okay sample findings help you visualize and analyze the finding types that guard duty generates when you generate the sample findings guard duty populates guard duty populates your current finding list with one sample findings for each finding types okay so right now we don't have any sample one right so let's wait for to detect then later we'll very will generate the some findings okay let's wait for another two to three minutes so that uh, it will automatically detect one default finding it takes some time all findings as of now nothing okay and if you wanted to uh, scan it you can just start it and you can come back to your ec2 machine here just copy the instance id that's it nothing nothing to do with anything let's copy one of the instance id here and what i'm going to do let's paste it so let's copy the entire here and and here you need to just enable the account id okay and uh, arn okay arn ws okay just confirm it okay so it will start for the scan okay it is already scanning if there is any vulnerability is there any vulnerability or any malware it is going to be shows left side you can able to see scan id everything you can able to see it here okay so how many volume is attached okay so start time and time it is going to be shows and other than cloud watch log also it is going to be shows from there also you can able to see it so if you click it it will open the new tab and from here you can just generate it so if there is any malware you can able to see it just run the query sample okay if there is any vulnerability it will show otherwise it will not show anything okay so for example so here it is showing that easy to scan started okay all the data logs it is showing here and let me back to guard duty okay so this is how we can able to create multiple uh, easy to malware scanning you can able to do it let's come to okay so are you able to see it here so if you are able to see it automatically there is a one uh, finding is generated what is this i am user root credential users that means so this is invoked by the root credential from the ip address this is ip address okay and you can able to see it all the remote ip so which location okay and everything it is showing here okay which is a organization provider everything it is showing and it says for you just type it what is my ip So it is two on two, right? The same IP it is showing here also, right? So I am accessing from here. Okay. So once this is completed, okay, you can just go to the. Let me go to the settings. Okay. As of now, there is only one findings available, right? So how many findings are there? Okay. So go to the settings. You just enable generate some sample. Automatically, by default, a lot of findings given by the aws okay so let's wait for to enable it here okay enabled just go to the finding types are you able to see it showing almost 266 i is 122 medium 129 low is 50 okay so you are already enabled if something goes wrong on your in your infrastructure so this is going to be shows okay if you wanted to any alert configuration that is also you can able to do it okay for example type it instance okay uh, copy my instance id okay if there is any uh, 
findings it will shows okay if it is impacted anything on regarding this guard duty or instant site okay so that is all about today's session guys so let's uh, uh, wind up for the today's session and uh, do not forget to subscribe my channel and let's come up with a new topic till then bye guys bye bye